Yes, my viewers and my subscriber, this is your boy Bonnie, and I am here to have another like a one-to-one -one talk with you. Yes, but as I always said, if it is your first time coming across this channel, thank you for tuning in. And if you're not ever yet subscribed, it would be nice for you to do so and be a part of the family. So remember to like and share, comment and subscribe to the channel and tell a friend to tell a friend to go and check out Bunny7UK. All right, so let's get into the talk. Now, what am I talking about today? I'm talking about Mother Mac and how I get to meet Mother Mac and how Mother Mac get to meet people that she never know and people who never know her okay all right as I said my name is Bonnie and I am from St. Thomas Jamaica Cedar Valley Mangaroa district I'm a youtuber and I live in the UK and as I said Mother Mac I have never known Mother Mac. I have never met Mother Mac until one day I was parked up in my sitting in my car waiting on someone. And inside of my car I have a Jamaica map hung up inside my car. And this young lady was passing. And she was like staring back onto me. And I'm wondering myself, why is this young lady looking at me like this? Anyway, she walked past me and then she turned back. When she turned back, she said to me, are you from Jamaica? So I said, yes. She said, where part of Jamaica are you from? I said, St. Thomas. She said, my mom is from St. Thomas. Anyway, we have a little talk there and... Uh, we gone, she gone about her business and me sit there. And another time we meet up and you know she I managed to go and see her mother. But when I met Mother Mac, which is Ayasint Mother, put it this way. I said hello to her. I said, um I'm from St. Thomas. And she said, who are your parents from St. Thomas? So I, well, I tell her I'm from Mangaroa. She said, who are your parents from Mangaroa? I said, what are your parents' name? I said, Virus. And she said, Kuya, Virus are your mother? Me and Virus go to school together in a one classroom. Anyway, the conversation was shocking there because meeting this lady for the first time and this is what the lady greeted me with. Kuya? Me and your mother go to school in a one classroom. Virus. Hey, hey. Anyway, the conversation started to go on and Mother Mac started to call some name to me. Now, remember, I'm a younger boy compared to Mother Mac. And the name then that she's calling to me, these, some of the name them I recognize, some of the name I don't recognize. But these people that she's telling me about, these people die and gone. It's just a few of them still alive at the time when me and I talk. Anyway, Mother Mark told me she come from Mount Vernon. But when she said she come from Mount Vernon, I thought Mother Mark would just come from somewhere up the top of the road. But when she told me where she come from, she come from one place far, far near to one place called Jonespen. That's where she used to live. And she go to Cedar Valley School. No, my viewers are misguided. Let me tell you something. You know, live at Jamaica. Or if you come from Jamaica, let me tell you something. Where Mother Mac used to come from for go to school, I don't know near near place. I don't know near near place. I'm telling you, if you put the journey together, we're talking about in Lutnir, 
we're talking about from Junction 10 to almost Brain Cross, afar. I'm not, I'm not really telling a lie here. I'm said, if you put this journey on hearts, anybody from where Mother Mac used to live to Cedar Valley School, it is far. It is almost from Junction 10 at the M1 to Brain Cross. It is far. And where my mother lives is about half of the journey to go to Cedar Valley School. So this like two times that journey. Madam Mac have to travel from where my mother live. But my viewers, when we start to talk, Mother Mac started to tell me some name and some things. And at the time when we was talking, Madam Mac was in her, in her 90s at the time when we was talking. I don't think she did even reach 90s yet. But we talk and we talk and we talk and we talk and we talk. We talk and we talk. But the way Mother Mac was talking to me, it's like she is like our brains is like just rewinding out some things. And one of the person name that she called to me is a lady named Sister Lee. And as a child growing up, I remember Sister Lee used to have a shop. But I never know the shop because when I have sensed this place is a whole broke down board house was there and some tomb in the yard. And in that part of the district, there was no house at all live there. Because the people them that was living in that district, they moved out from there, the house break down. There was nothing piece of board here this place. And that's where Madame Mac used to live. I used to walk through this as a young boy, go to Joan Spen on a regular base. So I know the area really, really good. And my viewers and my subscribers, I'm telling you, believe me. We talk and we talk and we talk. And I am taking in all of these things. I am listening. And we leave. And I go back to Madame Mac one at a time. And every time that we go back, I'm hearing the same thing. And I'm hearing more. And I'm hearing the same thing. And I'm hearing more. Madame Mac, she is like when you record something and play it. She, eh, listen, I can't even explain it to you. If, if, to really sit down and listen to me and Madame Mac talk. No, when I listen to Madame Mac, one day I said, to, I said to myself, I need to do a video with Madame Mac. And then I tried to speak to Hyacinth to arrange to do a video with Madame Mac. But it take a long time to happen. I went there with my camera, it never happened. About two times I went there with my camera and it never happened. And eventually, one day then decided that I'm going to fix her up nicely to do this video. So, I managed to do this little video with Madame Mac and I put it up on YouTube. Listen, my viewers and my subscribers. If you never see this video, go back into the same channel where you're watching this video and type in Madame Mac interview. Listen, I've done this interview with Madame Mac and I put it up on YouTube. And let me tell you something. I get phone call from Jamaica. I get phone call from America. I get phone call from in England here. People was contacting me all over the place. Bunny, Bunny, where you meet this lady? Where you know this lady from? Me thought she dead. Me thought she dead. I'm me auntie. Me thought she dead. And people was contacting me. This lady, my cousin. And let me tell you something, my viewers. Mother Mac live right in England here. Mother Mac a family in England here. Who contact me. Who never know that Mother Mac was even existed. There's people that live here that Mother Mac and none of her family never know about. Since I've done this video and put it out, I have people from all over contact me. Mother Mac get to meet family in England here that she never knew about. And people who related to Mother Mac who live in England here get to know Mother Mac who never knew about her. I have people from America who very close relative to Mother Mac who never knew about Mother Mac. 
and had a people who know her but her think she died a long time. I feel pleased, I feel proud, I feel blessed to be a part of this family. Mother Mac is like my own family. She, come, she becomes a part of my family. I love Mother Mac. Mother Mac, you're gone, but you're still here. You're in my heart. Your name will never, ever stop Carl. You are like a mother, a grandmother. You are everything to me. And I'm praying that this relationship with your children and your grandchildren remain the same. We are one family and we are family in Christ. Mother Mac children, if you're watching this video, I want to say your mother was a blessing to me and she's a blessing to the whole entire world because everybody who watch this video know Mother Mac and Mother Mac church people them they know Mother Mac but I can say for the time that I know Mother Mac I can say she's a blessing I have said thank you very much for that day when you pass and come and trouble me because me I put it like this, me I say you come and trouble me because if you did carry on walk past go where you go, me would know Mother Mac and so much people wouldn't get to know Mother Mac. So it's not just me alone. It's because of you, Iacinth. You are a blessing. Mother Mac is a blessing. And everybody who get to know my Mother Mac is a blessing. God bless you, Mother Mac. Rest in peace in the arms of your sweet deliverer. Rest in peace in Jesus' name. God bless, bless you. And God be with you forever and forever. Amen. My viewers and my subscribers, thank you. You take the time to watch this video. And everybody who watch the video and get in touch with me, thank you very much. And for the head of people who contact me, who have family out there and cannot find their family, I pray that um, you will get to meet your family. Um, there's one other person that contacted me from London, the Walker family. I think he contact with some family as well through my channel from the Walker side. So God bless you. And I hope the band with you and the Walker's family can, can continue to be together. So I want to take this time to say thank you very much. Thank you very much. This wasn't a plan for me to start a YouTube channel. But you know something? This even make me want to do more with this channel. It wasn't a plan. YouTube was a mistake. YouTube just happened because of the lockdown. But you know something? i really glad I start this channel. Because if I never started, all of these connections would make. So my viewers and my subscribers continue to support me continue to subscribe to the channel continue to share the video and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to go and check out bunny 7 uk god bless you and i will catch you on the next video peace and love i'm out god bless